Hello and welcome. Sage BusinessWorks version 2017 is soon to be released. Some new features have been added based on feedback received from our customers. You ask, we listened. So here's a sneak peek at the new features that you will be enjoying in the version 2017. We'll start by looking within the new viewer launcher area. We've added a link called Frequently Asked Questions. Here you'll find some of the most common questions that we receive in our support department. Clicking on the link will just give you a brief answer for each of the items along with a link to the support article directly in our knowledge base. You can click on the house up here to take you right back to the welcome page. A new version of the Sage Exchange Desktop 2.0 is available. This is not automatically installed or auto-updated when you upgrade to the version 2017. A manual update is required. You'll go to Utilities, Sage Exchange, Install Software. You'll be prompted that the Sage Exchange upgrade is available. Prior to installing the upgrade, you will need to first uninstall both the Sage Exchange and Module SDK from your computer using the control panel. Once you have uninstalled both products, then you rerun this setup program and auto start the upgrade process. So we go to our control panel, Programs and Features, and we locate our module SDK and select to uninstall. Once the module SDK is uninstalled, we now locate our Sage Exchange and we uninstall the Sage Exchange. We're prompted to remove the application from the computer. We say OK and allow the Sage Exchange to uninstall. Now that we have removed both the module SDK and the Sage Exchange from our computer, we're now ready to run the upgrade. We go back into our Utilities, Sage Exchange, Install Software. It now tells us that we're ready to install. We first accept the license agreement terms and conditions and select to install. and it's now installing the version 2.0 Sage Exchange desktop. Now it's not necessary to do the um, manual upgrade to Sage Exchange desktop version 2.0. Um, you should be able to go ahead and work with the version 1 that's already installed when uh, Sage Exchange uh, feels that they need to push through the version 2.0 it will probably come through as an automatic update at that time. System-wide, we've now added the tab and shift tab function to the report setup screens in our general ledger and payroll reports. Previously, you were unable to use the tab key to navigate through the report setup. We now have the ability to use the tab key to tab through all of the fields. This is available in all the general ledger reports as well as all of your payroll reports and any of the new engine reports included in any of the other modules. Moving on to accounts payable, we've now added the new feature to uh, manually post your recurring invoices instead of using the close feature. This feature has now been added under accounts payable, invoices, recurring invoices, post manually. The first time you access this option you will get a message coming up that this option is not active and we will need to activate this under our maintain AP parameters option. So we go to Accounts Payable, Utilities, Maintain AP Parameters, and we've now added the new checkbox 
that gives you the ability to post the recurring invoices manually. Now, as described in this message, it's not advised that you toggle back and forth, on and off, because this could result in posting duplicate recurring invoices. If you post manually, then toggle it back off and then have those post at the closing as well. So you want to be very careful using this new feature. Like all new features, security must be set. So you'll go to the Utilities, Maintain Users. This will need to be set for your manager as well because it is a new feature. So you select your manager and update the manager security by selecting security settings. We then select our other users that we want to give access. We go to accounts payable, invoices, recurring invoices, and we have the new post manually that you'll need to select. And then save. So again, that option is under Accounts Payable Utilities Maintain AP Parameters. If the box is unchecked, the recurring invoices will post at the time you close your Accounts Payable module as they've always done in the past. If this option is checkmarked, the invoices, recurring invoices will not post at closing but will require that you post the invoices manually using the post manually. Also in Accounts Payable, a new warning has been added and issued in red bold text warning customers about printing your 1099s before you close out your year-end in Accounts Payable. This warning has now been added under the Utilities in the Company Close area. And you'll see that under Accounts Payable, when you get to the December, it will show in red, your 1099 forms have not been printed, and a warning will display at the bottom that this is the last month of the calendar year, and since 1099 totals for all vendors are going to be reset, you must print your 1099 forms or at least your worksheet before you close. This warning is also available in the module close, under close current month, and it will come up with again the red warning that this is the last month of the calendar year and that if you have not already printed your 1099s and worksheet you need to get that done prior to closing the year end. Moving on to the accounts receivable module we've now added the ability to preview your invoices prior to posting. So this feature is under Accounts Receivable, Transactions, and Invoices. And if you bring up your customer, enter an invoice, we now have added a preview button that you can preview this invoice prior to even postings. So we now preview it to the screen. We can take a look that everything is correct, that our bill to ship to, the pricing is correct before we even post it. Now we close it out. Once we're satisfied, we can post it. If we need to make any corrections, we can go back and correct that before we actually post it. Preview it. And once we're happy, we go ahead and post it. We've also added the ability to copy a customer. So if you have a customer record and you want to make a copy of this customer, maybe this customer record has become quite large and has a lot of transactions and you need to make a secondary customer or maybe this is just used as a template. You can use the new button here called copy, give it an ID and it will copy all of the information, sales tax ID, everything exactly from the customer that we 
uh, used as our template. The only information that does not copy over is the credit card information. All other uh, information does, except history and credit card information. And in accounts receivable, we've also added the same ability to post recurring invoices manually, and that's found under your transactions, recurring invoices post manually. You will get the same warning about the option not being active, and in order to activate it, you must go to your accounts receivable utilities, maintain AR parameters. So accounts receivable, utilities, maintain AR parameters, posting accounts, and we've now added our new post recurring invoices manually feature right here. And as in accounts payable, you will need to add the security under utilities, maintain users, manage your security. Then select any of the users that you wish to give access to this feature. Accounts receivable, transactions, invoices, recurring invoices, post manually. OK and save. This feature works the same as posting the recurring invoices manually in the accounts payable option. We've also added the ability to modify the invoice header for any existing invoice from accounts receivable or order entry. We simply pull up our customer and pull up the invoice we wish to modify. We can add a description. We can modify the terms code. We can add an, our order number. We can add a customer purchase order number. We can change the sales rep. We can also add a note, change our ship via. We can also change any bill to or ship to address. And then once we're satisfied, post it. This will update the information on the invoice and we can reprint this. If this is an order entry invoice, you would reprint the invoice through the order entry reprint invoice. If it's an accounts receivable invoice, you could reprint the invoice through the accounts receivable reprint invoice task. Now the modify invoice terms was an existing task in previous versions, so no new security needs to be added. Any user who currently has access to the modify invoice terms in versions 2015 or earlier will be uh, able to access this feature in version 2017. Moving on to the order entry module, in addition to previewing your accounts receivable invoice forms, you now will be able to preview your order entry quotes, orders, and invoices. New quotes through maintain quotes, posted quotes through quote inquiry, new orders through maintain sales orders, posted orders through sales order inquiry. Preview through direct invoicing any new invoice created prior to posting, through the invoice inquiry screen for previously posted invoices, and in the select orders to invoice manual under customize select we now have the ability to preview. Previewing a form does not save or post. Also they will preview without an invoice number and you also will not have the ability to print from the preview. In inventory control, we've added the ability to preview your purchase orders from the Maintain Purchase Orders screen for new purchase orders prior to posting. In the Automatic Purchase Order screen under the Customize Select, there will be the option to preview prior to posting. And under your Purchase Order Inquiry screen, you'll have the ability to preview any previously posted purchase order. Also in inventory control, you'll see a new field added to the subassemblies build and unbuild tasks for the reference number, allowing you to edit the reference number that's associated with your subassembly build and unbuild tasks. As soon as the 2017 is released, it will be available on the Sage customer portal for download. 
It's easily accessed from your Sage BusinessWorks product by going to Help, Support and Service on the Web, Download Updates. You want to log on. You must log on to access any of the downloads. As soon as you log on, you'll go to the My Downloads and select your product for Sage BusinessWorks. And you'll see the latest products. The latest products will have the Sage BusinessWorks version 2015 and 2017 available for download. Once you click on it, the Sage BusinessWorks version 2017 there's a download now which uses the download manager or we have a direct download link if you have issues trying to download through the download manager try our direct download see if that works for you sage business works version 2017 is due to be released soon you don't want to miss this one as soon as 2017 has been released notification will be made via email to our customers Check in often to Sage City, Twitter, and our Sage Customer Portal as we will be posting notifications as soon as the Sage BusinessWorks version 2017 is ready for download. Thank you for joining us today.